you guys welcome back to my channel I'm actually super excited because today I am doing a sit down video which I feel like I haven't done one since like June or maybe even earlier than that because I've been vlogging pretty much all summer so I'm so happy to see you guys and if it's your first time on my channel I don't care how you got here we're just happy that you're here and I hope you'll click the subscribe button down below especially if you enjoy this video because I don't want you to miss anything else that I do either so today is a special day and I know I say that about half of my videos but if you decided to join me on this video today, you are a part of a first on the Life Journal with Miss GCH channel because today I am doing my first unboxing. <laughs> yes, you guys. I was sent a PR package from Grow Bar Organics, my very first PR package, and I'm so excited to try these products with you guys. That's what today is going to be all about, showing you guys the before and the after. So if you're wondering why I'm looking like real dingy, like I'm about to get in the shower, it's cause I am. But before we jump into the video, I have to start off with celebrating. You guys, y'all have been showing out, okay? You've been showing out. So the last time I celebrated a subscriber milestone, I can't even remember when that was. I know it was 200 and I think it was sometime in June. Um, but you guys have been subscribing like crazy. So we have almost 200, no, more than 200 new subscribers that have joined the family. So shout out to you guys. So funny story guys. <laughs> um, it's been a busy about three weeks since I actually recorded this video. So we have way more than that now. We have, I believe, 559. So we've actually already hit our 500 goal, which I'm going to mention at some point in this video. And you're going to be like, wait, what? You already passed that. Yeah, this video is a little outdated, so just keep that in mind throughout the video. But thank you so, so, so much to all 559 of you. You are so awesome. Like, I'm just, I'm in shock. I can't believe it. So let's just take a quick moment and welcome everybody new to the family and celebrate. And we're just going to do it all at once. you guys and so I thank you so 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 much from the bottom of my heart for joining the family as my 500 celebration as promised I'm doing a personal Q&A and by personal I mean you can ask me any question under the sun almost as long as it's appropriate and I'll answer it and although we've had a lot of new family members lately I want to make sure I say thank you to all of you who have been riding with me since February 25th of this year when I dropped my first video guys this has been such a blast and I love doing this so enough talking enough celebrating let's get into this product review so yes, like I said, Grow Bar Organics contacted me and asked me to represent their brand by doing um, a review of their products. And like I said, I was stoked because first of all, they're my first PR. But not only that, they are based in Indianapolis. And many of you know, I went to Indiana University. Marla Lewis is the CEO and her and her husband founded Grow Bar Organics. And as you can tell by the title, Organics, the products are over 90% naturally derived. Yes, I'm reading from the email because I want to make sure that I get this correct. But they actually both have master's degrees in chemical engineering. They are a black couple, which me being a black woman and a black professional, I think it's very awesome that I have the opportunity to support black businesses. And then here are the products I'll be using. Revitalizing shampoos here. Step one, I love this really convenient like step one, step two, step three, even though I mean most of us like know the order, but it helps, especially sometimes when brands have all these random titles on their stuff and it's like, what do I use first? Just tell me. Step two is the rejuvenating conditioner. She explained to me that they just ordered brand new um, branding and labels for everything and the labels for the curling cream did not come yet. So, you know, it's just got this new label in here. That's no problem. It's because you guys bought it all probably at the Indiana Black Expo. But anyways, so these are the products I'll be using. Like I said, this is curly defining cream. I'm hoping to see some shine, uh, feel the moisture and the softness in my hair with these new products. So I'm going to stop torturing you with how I look right now. <laughs> Let's go get in the shower, do my hair, and then come back and show you guys how I look like. Let's go. 
Okay, so I'm fresh out the shower. I have clothes on. I am ready to go and try this curl defining cream. But first, before we get into that, I will just say this is my hair straight out of the shower. This is what my curls look like already, so you guys can just kind of see. Also, um, I have been out of the shower for a minute because I had to put clothes on, you know, lotion, do all that good stuff. So my hair is starting to air dry a little bit at the top. You can probably kind of tell. So I do have a handy dandy spray bottle here um, to re-wet my hair maybe just a little bit before I use the curl defining cream. But let me tell you how I feel about this shampoo and conditioner. So let's start with the shampoo. The shampoo, um, like I said, it's called the Revitalizing Shampoo Aloe and Coconut. And um, I will say it is a lot more liquidy than I expected. So you can even kind of see in here. Let's see if you can see. You see how it's moving around in there like that? It is very liquidy. Um, so I wasn't expecting that when I went to use it. So I did spill a little bit at first because I was just kind of like squeezing, expecting it to stay in my hand, and it did not. <laughs> Um, other than that, I think the shampoo overall is okay. Um, I'll give it, let's say on a scale of one to five, I would give it a solid three, um, halfway in between, and I'll tell you why. So, it's called Rejuvenating Shampoo. The term moisturizing was also used in the email, and so I guess I was expecting, like, something super, super moisturizing. Um, you know, with those kind of words around, I just really assumed that it was going to be super silky and super soft. It was not bad at all. I think the only reason I give it a three is because I do have some other products in my cabinet that I feel like have given me more of a moisturizing shampoo feel, especially like Cream of Nature brand, for example. The difference with this though is it is an all natural hair product and I do not typically use all natural hair products, so I'm not sure if this is just like my first time with natural hair products and that's what it feels like because it didn't do anything bad to my hair necessarily. So with it not being super like silky while I was using it, the texture of my hair felt a little bit rougher it felt like there were more tangles and also this could be because this is the first time I used the product so I am gonna give it another shot don't you worry I'm not gonna make my entire judgment off of this first use because I know my hair and sometimes it just does what it wants to do so um, I did have quite a few tangles with the shampoo but overall it did the job it cleansed my scalp I didn't really have any leftover residue or anything like that on my scalp while I was in there, like it got the job done, it rinsed out really well. So overall, no complaints, just kind of that expectation of moisturizing wasn't necessarily there as I expected, but we will give it another shot. As far as the conditioner, I would say it's almost kind of a similar review of the conditioner, except for the fact that the conditioner is a little bit more thick. So it's not kind of runny and watery like the uh, shampoo was. And here's about how much I used of the conditioner, as you can see. So here's kind of where the conditioner is now that I've used it. I used quite a bit, or it felt like quite a bit. So I do my hair in sections, and the sections that I was working with, it felt like I had to put quite a bit of conditioner on that section for it to really get soft and smooth. Like it didn't travel very far, so when I would put it on, it would kind of stay there. And my hair, I guess, was just kind of sucking up the uh, conditioner, so I had to use quite a bit more. So just think about that if you're sectioning your hair. Go ahead and be pretty generous with this conditioner if your hair texture is anything like mine or any bit thicker than mine. Definitely, you'll probably want to use quite a bit of conditioner. Once I was on there, I was easily able to finger detangle my hair and my fingers slid through it. There was a lot of good slip with the conditioner. So really no complaints there. And both of them smell pretty darn good. One more thing I'll say about the shampoo that I forgot is that it actually travels far. So I said the conditioner doesn't travel very far, you need to like it. The shampoo travels far. I'm assuming because it was liquidy, it came out faster so I had more of it in my hair, so maybe that's it. But it was lathering up really well on each section. Now that my hair is freshly washed and ready to go, I have no other products in it. This is literally just my hair straight out the shower. Let's get into this curl defining cream. <laughs> this much I'm totally guessing we're just gonna see what this does to my hair oh 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 I mean 
Are you seeing this? Are you actually seeing this? <gasps> what? 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 There is no way. Did y'all see how defined I just got and shiny? Bruh, 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 bruh. No, there's no way. There's no way. Let, let's try this. Let's try the next section. Round two. So you see it beforehand, right? It's curly, but it's a little bit frizzy or whatever. Curl defining cream. seeing why it sold out at the Indiana Black Expo. Oh, like y'all are seeing this, right? Like there's nothing, I'm not faking you, like this is real life happening like this before both of our eyes, okay? Because my eyes are also in shock. <laughs> liked it you guys saw a little bit before I cut out to go finish that I really did love how it was defining my curls how it made it shiny soft bouncy like I was tripping I really was I will say that as I move towards the crown of my head even though it's the same general curl pattern I feel like the texture is a little bit different and so I did have to use a bit more of the curling cream in those areas those thicker areas to really like get through it now the amount that they gave me I pretty much used the whole thing like you can see scrape marks <laughs> in the bottom I pretty much used this whole thing now I don't think this is the size that comes when you purchase it I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure it's bigger than this I will double check the email and even I'll check online for you guys to make sure it's bigger and if it is I'll put that information down below so yeah if it was this size which again I'm assuming it's not I'm assuming this is just a sample that they sent me I would need one of these per wash um so in that sense it would not be feasible but again i'll double check and make sure that it's a bigger size i would say it is pretty comparable to some of the other curl creams that i use specifically the curl enhancing smoothie from shea moisture i personally think that this would be a good alternative so to wrap this up real quick i would say if i had to have an order for the products as far as like most favorite to least favorite i would say most favorite is definitely the curl defining cream like this was definitely popping overall it did really good things to my curls as you can see so this is my favorite um i would say the conditioner is next and then finally the uh shampoo now like i said before i will be making sure that i use these products at least one or two more times to make sure that this is really how i'm feeling about the products to see if my hair reacts any differently and i'll update you guys most likely on my instagram story as i do that I want to mention that the revitalizing and rejuvenating, so the shampoo and conditioner are actually not available yet. This is their brand new product line uh, that they sent out. And so if you're interested in trying them, keep checking the website. The website is www.growbarorganics.com. And also check them out on Facebook and Instagram at Grow Bar Organics. And that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment something you enjoyed about the video, maybe if you're thinking about trying these products. If you decide to check out Grow Bar Organics, make sure that you tell them that I sent you, that this video sent you over to them. And if you enjoyed it that much, go ahead and subscribe before you leave. Don't forget to send me your personal Q&A questions. You can tell me that one of With all that said, this curly girl is signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh,